What's up YouTube? It is your boy Lopes and welcome back to another video. I am inside my 2018 Honda Civic Si. I recently got an ACT clutch and today we're going to talk about it. A few of you guys watched the video and been asking questions about it. Today we finally have a half decent day to do an in-car review on it. I hope you guys are excited. Let's get into it. I have about 1700 kilometers on the clutch so it's basically been worn in really really good i purchased my clutch kit from unity performance i got the act hd street clutch kit and so far i've been liking it we're gonna get a little more into the video and we'll talk about it a little more and we'll do some pulls and uh, you guys will see that it is finally holding the power I have. For a lot of you that don't know the mods I have done to the car, it's fully bolted on. Uh, PRL, CAI, PRL downpipe, front pipe, intercooler charge pipes, NVIDIA, R400 exhaust, 271W1 turbo, 271 turbo inlet, and we have K-Tuner. And we have the base map from K-Tuner. I'm still waiting on my tune. I believe I'm gonna go with Derek Robertson for this E2. Um, I've only heard good things and he tunes a lot of these cars and uh, I'm excited about it. If you guys have any other recommendations, especially local in the GTA, let me know. Also, uh, I want someone who's experienced with the tension platform specifically. So let's get into the video. I'm super happy that this clutch is holding the power that I do have underneath it. I'm not exactly sure the numbers I do have since it's not technically tuned, uh, but I'm hoping to be around that 300 horsepower mark number since I have all the upgrades already done to the car. The best way to describe this clutch is that it is as close to stock as possible. Clutch has no chatter, which is great. So a lot of you I know asked about chatter. Clutch has zero chatter, which is great. I haven't heard any. Uh, I don't have any crazy motor mounts to kind of hide the sound. And I don't have a very loud exhaust setup to kind of hide that sound also. The release point on the clutch is super high. It's near the top of the clutch pedal. So that was something to get used to. I know our Civics, the stock ones were too, but I think the thing that really, really transformed this car with that clutch being installed was the flywheel. The OEM flywheel is about 32 pounds and we cut it in half to about 17.5. And that really eliminates that rev hang that a lot of us hate. One thing I do have to say, it does take a bit of getting used to after installing that because I was so used to lazy shifting when I'm just driving around this city that a lot of my shifts with this new clutch were getting kind of questionable. The revs drop very, very fast, which I really, really like. I feel more responsive and more connected with the clutch and the car. As you can see, these downshifts are crisp. There's a second. It's just more readable. So when the clutch was the OEM clutch, a lot of that delay in the rev hang kind of made it hard to read the clutch. Obviously, we all get used to it because we drive it for such a long period of time. But I don't know, man. Like, I, this ACT clutch is insanely good for what it is. Like, like I said, the main hump over this is that lightened flywheel. What you have to get, that's what you really have to get used to. But once you get used to it, the car feels so much more responsive, so much more precise with your clutch to gas transition. You know exactly where it's gonna be and what's gonna do at all times. And like, you just, that's a nice little pop. It's just, it's just precise. Like, it's as close to stock feeling as you're gonna get from my knowledge. Uh, I was looking at other clutches, but I talked to a lot of people who ran this clutch and they were super happy with it. And like I said, I really thought about getting the retrofit from the FK8, uh, but it ended up being really, really expensive. And like I've mentioned before, I'm not rich, don't have any rich parents, this is all hard work, and I thought this would be suiting because a lot of us are in the same boat in that sense where we don't have all the money in the world to buy these very expensive things. But this is not, I wouldn't even say this is a compromise, I just think this is the best bang for buck clutch from my research and from what I've been driving. Like I said, this is my perspective on it. I haven't driven any other clutches. I do not know how the, you know, the competitor clutches feel, but all I know is that if you want something as close to stock as possible, but holds your power, this is the guy you wanna get. No chatter, that's a plus. No rev hang, that has to do with the flywheel. That's a plus, and like I said, I am fully bolted on, upgraded turbo, 
and it's it's holding pretty good for what it is we're gonna get a few ribs once we get a little further here in mexico uh sorry about the bumpy roads they haven't uh fixed like holy shit most of my slipping with the oem clutch came in the higher gears at low rpms and that's where it started off it held up pretty well for a long time mind you i don't beat on my car like severely very heavy i kind of just you know i do pulls here and there but it's not a track car or anything so it doesn't get abused very often for long periods of time uh but the oem clutch did hold up for me pretty well i noticed some of the slipping probably when i was down pipe down pipe front pipe cold air intake and k tuner that's when i started noticing some of the slipping in the higher end uh, that would be like fifth gear at like 2500 rpms and i would just try slowly accelerating and then once i hit around like 35 where i felt it was time to like really uh hammer down that's when i saw some of the slipping and that was like that for a couple months and i did upgrade the charge pipes intercooler exhaust inlet pipe uh race math on top i forgot about that and uh the w1 uh 27 w1 turbo so i did all that and it was holding it hold for one or two rips but then it started slipping but the car was definitely drivable the oem clutch held up just fine nothing too crazy uh it didn't, it didn't do too bad of a job for all the power we're putting underneath it especially with these the torque these cars are pushing i think honda slowly will get better with developing better clutches for the si's hopefully with the torque numbers that they're pushing. If you're looking to upgrade the car, just go by how your car is feeling and how your clutch is feeling. But may I say, the clutch, after you upgrade it, you're gonna be super happy. Like, let's see if we can get a, this is gonna be a third gear pull and you can just third gear wrong. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, this car is so much fun, dude. Ah, oh, dudes and dudettes. Yo, this car is so much fun. The third gear pulls so nice. Today is actually a decent day. It's cool, but it's not too, too cold. This car is so much fun now. Honestly, it is definitely worth upgrading if you're not worried about warranty and all that type of stuff. Maybe eventually I'll build the motor and go bigger power, but as an everyday driver, I think the combination of parts I have on the car, including the clutch, is like perfect i wouldn't ask for much more uh i just want to know my dyno numbers i know what i'm pushing i'm just as curious as you guys i get a lot of those questions uh comment down below what you guys think i am pushing let me know i think i'm hoping hoping i've hit 300 if i didn't i'm going to be a little upset no i'm joking the car pulls pretty hard for what it is and it feels as stock-ish as comfortable as possible the whole thing about this car for me was to keep it as dailyable as possible, even though I don't even think that's a real word, and as fun as possible and meet somewhere in the middle. And that's why I didn't go with a very aggressive clutch. This is a very good clutch for everyday driving. It's light, I don't feel tired. My legs don't feel tired. Like if you've ever driven a Subaru, that's a heavy clutch. Like Alex's 2011 WX clutch, and even my bug eye that I had, the wagon, they have heavy clutches. But this, man, this is awesome. Like, this is a very, very comfortable car to drive every day. The power's nice. May I say I got a new wheel setup and it's gonna be released in the spring. My new wheel setup's gonna be nice. I went wider, so you guys know. Guess down below, if you don't follow my Instagram, you might not have known what I got. I did put some teasers up. Follow my Instagram right over here. You'll get first teasers and first look at a lot of things before I post on YouTube, uh, but I do have a bit of a stretch here, so we're gonna do a bit of a second gear. Yo, <laughs> this car is so much fun. I got pretty high. That was fast. You guys aren't gonna know the. I, I'm not gonna show you how fast I went, but I, I I was going fast from second to third there. Holy shit! That was a bit of fourth also. Oh man, this is such. Guys, guys, I promise you, you will not be upset with this clutch. I believe it holds up to 350 foot pounds of torque. That is perfect for me. I'm not going anything insanely big. No five, six hundred horsepower on this car yet like i said it's a daily and i want to keep it reliable safe fast and fun that is why 
I went with this clutch also. It just, it's, I promise you guys are gonna love it. I promise you guys, you guys are gonna have a great time with this clutch. Second gear, a bit of a windy road. This car is so much fun. When so, when you just dial in the car just right, it doesn't matter how many times you pull, it is a lot, a lot of fun. Wow. Honestly, guys, I think you're really gonna enjoy this clutch, especially if it's a daily for you guys. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by Unity Performance. I'm not sponsored. This is my own opinion, my, what I was looking for in my car. I did a lot of research on clutches and what clutch to go. Some people said they didn't like this clutch. Some people did. It all depends on the application you're looking for. I'm assuming if you're looking for more of a race application, even though this holds fine for race application, I'm assuming like really high numbers at this. I'm not, I don't know because I don't know anyone who has those numbers in this clutch, if it holds or if it doesn't, but it's a, it's a good clutch guys that's all i gotta say a lot of guys were asking my review and i'm just a, like a down earth type of guy not looking for anything too crazy something that holds well feels well feels like oem oh that's a nice truck feels like oem but oem plus and i think that's what i've been looking for in this car a lot of the time uh, down when I look down there and it's time to slow down I'm getting hot I'm getting red it's the excitement of the car you guys are gonna like this I, you'll see you I think you'll really like this clutch if you're looking for the same application that I was and that was comfortable I probably said this a hundred times but you know OEM plus enough to hold all the power you have but it feels OEM within traffic it's light it's not heavy like this is a first gear roll like you can see that, that wasn't very good you guys got me nervous so i'm at 2500 rpms fifth gear and this is where a lot of the times my clutch started slipping in the beginning and i wouldn't recommend fully rocking down on it slowly accelerate into it mine would still slip and uh this Honestly, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have the best of both worlds with both my builds. I'm gonna have that K20 VTEC Screamer, and then I have this 1.5T Turbo Goodness. I think I've rounded my love off in Honda with that. Maybe just need a V6 one day, and maybe one of those J35s or J37s. I, I believe that's what the motors are called from the T, the TLTL type buses. I can't wait until we're into the summer and spring months. You're gonna see the new setup, new wheel setup changes to the exterior i think you guys are going to be pleasantly happy with how the car is going to look it's not going wide body just saying daily remember it's a daily i think i covered everything i can think of for today for this moment at the time anyways if there's any other question you guys have about the clutch hit me up chris slopes again instagram or uh, send me an email through youtube or ask in one of the comments or send me an inbox i'm giving you guys plethora of ways to message me and i'll try getting back to everyone i definitely get back quicker on instagram than anything i'll see you guys at home if you are cold and you're looking for a wonderful sweater to wear just look no farther this is the lopes brand now i'm just messing around but check it out if you guys want some lopes gear i got a lopes sweater we have a website and more stuff in the works maybe some hats so but, you know you won't see no bass pro anymore uh but uh super excited these sweaters are finally out really good quality i'm very happy with them they're a bit of a tighter fit so if you want something a little more slimmer fitting you know keep the size that you think you're gonna wear anyways uh like i'm a large to xl xl is this one which is a little looser but a large fits nice uh because it goes underneath jackets a lot easier uh but uh yeah 45 dollars hit me up on instagram uh they're 45 shipping can be in rage wherever you are 45 local dollars 
and uh, shipping will be arranged. I've sent a few out to Texas and stuff like that. Thank you for all the support so far. I just wanna say thank you to everyone, everyone that's been helping me in my YouTube career and everything I've done so far without all you guys, especially you guys watching, uh, none of this would be possible. This is definitely my dream to do this full time, even throughout these harsh Canadian winters that we're having, we're making it happen. Uh, something as simple as purchasing a sweater goes a long way and helps create content and whatnot. If you guys are interested in any Acuity parts, I am an Acuity Instruments affiliate. Wow, say that five times. I'm an Acuity Instruments affiliate. Uh, if you use the links down below, purchase any of those parts, I do get a bit of a kickback and I'd really appreciate that because that helps create these videos and all this content coming to you guys. Uh, it helps me get buy more parts, install more parts and show you guys how to do it also and give you reviews on it too. So if they end up being shitty, at least you'll know before you purchase it. Uh, but that's just a little rant. Thank you again for all the support. I love all you guys. If you're looking to replace your stock clutch with something that's similar, but better, this is the route to go to. So the conclusion to this video is, if you're looking to buy something uh, that's similar to OEM, but OEM plus-ish, but better, this is probably the route you'd like to go. Uh, it feels good, it's light, release point is higher up, um, no chatter, which is really nice. And uh, if you do go with the flywheel, uh, I went with the 17 pound flywheel, it cuts that rev hang to probably zero. Like you don't feel any rev hang and it makes your shifts, your driving and everything more precise and you feel more connected with the car. And that is what I like, especially because this is my daily beast, my daily warrior, whatever you guys wanna call it. This is my daily driver and I am trying to keep the creature comforts of an OEM car, but make it a lot funner, a lot faster, handle better, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanna say thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. More tension content to come, so don't you stress. Things are just coming in the mail. Things take time, and the garage space is kind of limited until we get the K-Swap motor in, which will probably be a month away, and spring's around the corner, so we can have some footage of the car outside and doing mods on the driveway and stuff, too. Uh, I do miss working on this car, I'm not gonna lie, it's come a long way, uh, but yeah, I'm rambling on. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate every single view. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do it once, do it right. Peace out, later.